Welcome back to another episode of Shea TV. My name is Marissa Hill, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Air Jordan 4 Retros in the UNC colorway. Let's take a sneak peek. to another unboxing and review. This is Shea TV. My name is Marissa Hill and I'm so excited to go through and discuss the Air Jordan 4 UNCs today. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up at the end if you enjoyed it. Feel free to leave me any comments or questions that you may have down below, as well as hit that notification bell because we have so much heat coming out that they don't want you guys to miss out on it, as well as be sure to check out those membership tiers. We've got some great perks on there that you guys are going to absolutely love, as well as our merch store. All right. So if you guys joined me this morning for Coffee with Shade, thank you so much for tuning in. We had a little bit of a hiccup as you guys probably saw my frustration in the realization of the fact that there is sexism in the sneaker realm. Unfortunately, it's something that I can't even write. It just happens. And I think that the more that us women start speaking up and talking about it, hopefully you males out there, hint, hint, unlike today, will actually stand up for us because what happened today was unacceptable. And I'm gonna keep preaching to everyone because we need to stop the sexism in the sneaker community. It's not okay to treat us unfairly. And if you make assumptions and stereotype us, it's only going to continue to make the situation worse, especially if you are in line and you see this happening, speak up and say something. We need your guys' support because there's so few of us. I was in line, which maybe there were 20 people in line with me. I was the only female and not one guy, not one guy in that line stood up for me. And I knew that they heard what I was discussing with the security guy about. And it was completely disrespectful and it was completely not okay. I'm not gonna sit there and pretend that you can basically discriminate against me because I'm a woman and you don't think that I came to your store to pick up a raffle that I won. Shade tilted, drinking my coffee on my way to my next raffle win. Uh, Sorry guys, that was Shade Unhinged for sure. I'm trying to find the subway now. God, it's getting hot. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to keep this sweatshirt on for much longer. You learn real fast. You gotta have some grit out here. You're gonna get walked all over. Absolutely all over. You gotta stand up for yourself. You gotta speak how you feel. And don't let people push you out here. I came here nice, sweet, still sweet, still nice. Uh, but when I get disrespected in the city like this, I gotta put my foot down. 
because that's what's right. Let's not get hit as we're crossing the street, but uh, the city's not for everybody. I will say that. You know, people are uh, pretty upfront out here, pretty aggressive, not the kindest. Um, so any point in time you feel like you've been disrespected, you know, you got to speak up for yourself because nobody's going to do it for you out here. They're just going to take it advantage. That's right. Learning the lesson of today. Do not get taken advantage of. <laughs> Don't. All right. Got to head in the subway. So on that note, let's get into the overview of the video. We're first going to go through the overview of this beautiful UNC colorway. Then we're going to talk about the key differences between GS and the adult version. And then I'm going to talk about size and fit on these shoes, followed by styling. It's such a beautiful day in New York. So definitely not a lot of layers going on. Giggity, giggity, giggity. You guys are definitely gonna start seeing me transition into different looks based on the weather. Then we're gonna conclude with how these shoes are doing on the resale market. As you guys know, this is basically being considered one of the poor man's Travis Scott shoes. As this looks very similar to one of his shoes that he uh, designed. So let's jump into the overview of this. We're gonna do an overview on the adults. I think it's just a better. Uh, interaction of what the shoe realistically looks like. Um, so let's start with the front portion of the shoe. As you guys can see, this is actually a really high quality suede that we've got going on the toe box. As we make our way up into the caging system, we've got that same just beautiful UNC tone that blends quite nicely with the mesh underneath there. Then they paired it with just some nice UNC laces. Uh, then we've got just some nice eyelets that have these nice accents on the side portion here and that just nice pop of black as we make our way up we've got the jumpman logo with flight in the white coloring scheme which i think pops off quite nicely from that tongue uh then we've got the team 23 description on the side there so let's take a quick look at those details <laughs> So making our way to the medial and lateral side of the shoe, you'll see we've got, again, some of that caging with mesh on the side panels. Again, with some more of that premium UNC toned suede that works its way to the back. We've got the spackled look in that just nice gray tone there with the black speckles. And that's that nice tech gray that we're seeing here. Again, with that nice accent of the black Jumpman on the back. Working our way into the collar portion of the shoe, we've got again, more of that university blue tone that really just hits. Uh, and then we've got a simplistic black insole with that university uh, blue Jumpman on the bottom there. Then we're gonna complete the shoe with the uh, just simple air bubble unit with the, it looks like we've got more of that tech gray on the inside there with the spackled uh, gray and black color scheme. Uh, and then we've got more black on that midsole that then leads into the outsole, which is then a combination of the black, the gray, and that UNC blue. All right, let's take a last and final look.
let's move into a comparison on the GS versus the adult version. I'm not gonna lie, it actually feels good being down there in the subway right now because it's like free air conditioning. It's about to get roasty toasty in a minute. This lookbook may be a little spicier than usual, you guys. Go on. Because I don't think I'm gonna be wearing coats today. <laughs> That's for sure. Way too hot for that. No layers. Oh, somebody's in my Supreme Aerial jacket. Shit. This and he just has a kit bag, so I think he copped himself some new ones to match that coat. My boy. On our way to the second pickup. And uh, kind, of, kind of calmed down a little bit from my last escapade hopefully this will be a lot smoother we are running now it is a green light <laughs> so i did find some key differences for those of you who do watch channels that do unboxings on uh the uh, gs sizing i do highly recommend also comparing it to another video that does do the adult sizing just because there are a lot of differences and i think it's important to know if you do have that option and choice to make whether or not you should buy an adult version versus a kid version obviously i know that you know the men's sizing just only goes so low so unfortunately you don't have that option but if you're paying resale like you probably want to know if there's some key differences especially in the quality and make of the shoe so one of the key differences that i saw here is you'll notice on the tongue this is a rectangle shape here on the gs it is not a rectangle it's actually a square shape there and on this one you'll see that it's already on threading so there's also a key quality difference there with that thread coming apart and then when we work our way to the laces you'll notice that these are much cheaper laces this is higher quality it's almost more of a silky material where there is a more of a cloth kind of feeling to this type of lace system so they definitely saved money there when we work our way up to the tongue you'll feel that this is actually extremely rough this is not soft suede on the top of this tongue i'm not sure why it's so rough but you can definitely see that this looks more like a a terry towel kind of cloth where this is just much smoother and then when you look at the side here you'll notice this is pretty flat on the side um, and then when I'm looking on the sides here we do kind of have some bulging going on so if you can see on this GS version there's a huge bulge on the outside it's almost like a weird indentation and unfortunately you know you're not going to probably get that with the adults I don't know if that was just a specific defect on this one but there is a weird shape to the GS on this side panel of this shoe and other than that I would say there's only one other key difference that I saw and it's actually the coloring scheme. If you look closely on the front of the toe box here, you'll notice that the gray on the GS version is actually spilling over onto the black midsole here. And you'll notice that if I show you on this same shoe, you don't have that issue of the gray spilling over. Let me just turn that down so you guys can take a closer look at that where this gray is kind of going over. And then here you can see that there's some issues with the glue and you don't have those same issues on the adult version where the glue is kind of spilling over. They didn't really do a good job of cleaning that up. And then we've got just kind of a much smaller air bubble unit on the GS versus the adults as well. And then as you guys know, you're gonna see that uh, quality difference in the box. Obviously with the adults, you're gonna get a really cool box where you're just gonna get a basic box with the GS size. But let me just give you guys a look at the box that you get for the adult sizing. So if you are a box snob, definitely you're gonna wanna go with the adult size over the GS size. So I'm glad that I was able to cop a GS version and an adult version, because I do think it's important for you guys to see the key differences, just in case you're deciding whether or not you should get a GS or whether or not you should get an adult, or if you should just 
not get the GS at all. Um, but now let's move into sizing. So typically I can fit in a GS size seven, uh, but I'm more comfortable in an adult size 7.5, which is equivalent to an eight and a half for the GS and a nine for women's. Uh, but I definitely would say stay true to size on this one. I do have narrow high arch feet. So that will also depend on whether or not you're flat footed and you have wide feet. Uh, but definitely my recommendation on this one, if you have similar feet, stay true to size. On my way to my last pickup, I'm kind of running out of time because I need to do the indoor portion unboxing of this, but I have castings to go to. I'm gonna go cast for Bare Minerals. I've actually already been a shade girl for them. You guys may have seen me in Sephora a few times. But hey, maybe I can book their next campaign. Let's see. And then hair casting. Another hair campaign. My face. So uh, I gotta hurry. Hustle, get these shoes, head back, film this indoor portion, run to my castings, and then film the lookbook, then do Supreme, and edit all that. And hopefully, have it out tonight for you guys in time. Um, but wow, time is is flying. I can't believe it's already one o'clock. Like, where did the time go? Struggled on Ama Manier this morning or this afternoon. Definitely had my size sold out pretty quickly, but something did happen. So stay tuned. Probably going to have a video for you guys on another shoe. Wink, wink, wink. All right, so now let's jump into the styling portion and talk about how I style these shoes. So this is just a great, I feel like spring, summer colorway. I love how this UNC color just really pops. So for the first look, I decided to wear some tie-dye. I love tie-dye and we're getting into the warmer season. So this was kind of a cropped tie-dye t-shirt and it's got some nice marbling with blue hues in there, which I thought really worked well with the UNC tones. And then I wore just some kind of denim-y looking biker shorts. It's not the same exact blue, but I definitely think different blue hues really work well with the UNCs. When you find out when you love, gotta make sure that you love them right. Yeah, when you find a way you love. I got a girl that compliments my fly. And when it goes down, I know she gon' ride. I finally got somebody I can call my. My one time for the one time. I got a girl that compliments my fly. And when it goes down, I know she gon' ride. I finally got somebody I can call my. My one time for the one time. We were still in college and your girl's boyfriend friends uh, so that was for the first look for the second look i decided to do some more tie-dye but this one has more blue marbling on it and it's a long sleeve crew neck with a little flower on the front there and i think that the blue hues in that uh, crew neck just really match the unc colorway to a t i mean it was absolute perfection and I wore those with some just nice light denim Bermuda shorts. Friends was always trying to holler not a lot. Chain sand stand but they don't want these problems. Let the top fold. Ride slow. Let them know I got you never been insecure. But I don't play about you. Don't care who you were before or what they say about you. We fresh like air no pollute. When he came too far there's no fluke. When you on my arm you look great. Let them hate cause they on mute. And girl I brought you around my mom and them. Now I can't come around without you. I got money and respect but you know that that pussy's power. Type didn't make any Rejection, I was no coward. Got your heart in my possession. Guess you can say it's ours. You find like, let me just say you gifted. No understatement, let me rephrase it. You so exquisite. I'd be dumb if I didn't turn you into my missus. Been through your ups and downs. And then for the last and final look, I decided to keep it casual. I know a lot of you guys really wanted to rock these with gray sweats, so I wore my Fear of God Essentials gray sweats with just a simple white tank. Ups and downs, but with me, you only get I got a girl that compliments my fly. And when it goes down, I know she gon' ride. I finally got somebody I can call my. My one time for the one time. I got a girl that compliments my fly. And when it goes down, I know she gon' ride. Uh, 
Uh, so you guys let me know in the comments down below what was your favorite out of the three looks. You will never cease to be beside me. Constant not depending on what I see. And I can always trust you know what I need. And now I know that I can trust you rightly. And you came through the sky like you opened blind eyes. So I'm giving you right. No more looking behind. You are good. You are kind. You can have all my life. I am yours. You are mine. Cause you my miracle. You opened my eyes. Forever, Lord, your love will always be the same I know that your faithfulness will never change I'm trusting in the way that you provide for me today What more can I say with my hands and pray? I know, I know you will always be enough Always fill my cup Looked around the world to find a love It's something like your love But I couldn't find anything even close Anywhere that I go Everywhere now I know You will always have my heart So freaking hungry. Stop by Jimmy John's. If you haven't tried Jimmy John's, my god. Hi, I gotta take this thing off. I took my sweatshirt off, I couldn't handle it anymore. Forgot to wear a bra though, I'm like bouncing around, guys. Giggity, giggity, giggity. Probably should have done that, but I didn't think it was gonna be this roasty toasty outside. Uh, need to get some food in me, and uh, the clock is ticking. I need to hurry up fix myself up here in a second to go to these castings but first I need to chow down real fast and then uh, shoot this indoor portion of the unboxing hurry up hit these castings hopefully I book one out of two which is you know good ratio I guess in the modeling realm uh, but it has been quite the hectic busy busy day there's a lot of people out too it's pretty crazy obviously Everybody's in their sundresses, which is nice to see. And I was trucking around with a massive sweatshirt on. That had to go. And uh, my arms are exhausted, actually, from carrying all the bags. But um, catch you guys soon. Now let's conclude with how these shoes are doing on the resale market. So adults sold for $200 retail, and currently they're doing quite well for resellers out there. Um, they're going between 360 to 400. Larger sizes are going between 400 and 500. The GS pair, which sold for 150, is going around an average of 260, depending on what shoe size you are. All right, you guys, thanks again so much for tuning in to another one of my unboxings and reviews. If you're new to the channel, thanks so much for tuning in. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already, as well as leave me any comments or questions that you guys may have down below. Hit that notification bell because we have so much sheet coming out that I don't want you guys to miss out on it, as well as be sure to check out those membership perks, you guys. We got some great additional offers for our members, as well as our merch store. Until next time, this is Shay TV. My name is Marissa Hill. We will see you on the next episode.